you are about to listen to Kaku chapter 142. The Evidence of Redemption. Letter that Prophet Kaku Philippe wrote, from his home in Kataji, on June 7, 2020. Extracted from the book of Prophet Kaku Philippe, the only true prophet sent by the Lord Jesus Christ, in fulfillment of the cry of Matthew 25 6, for the salvation of our generation. Kaku chapter 142, The Evidence of Redemption, Letter That, I, Prophet Kaku Philip, Prisoner until May 20, 2021, Because of the Gospel of Christ, I wrote this morning of June 7, 2020 from my village. The message is now translated into 44 languages including all the largest languages of the world. Over these last three months, we have done a huge work of translation, and it is continuing and Apostle Yanakaka is coordinating that. Also, the testimonies following the prayer at the end of Kaku 141 are so numerous that they could make a whole book. I am the useless slave who succeeded in his mission for his master. I did not act against the will of my master. And no matter the temptations of Satan, I will never do it. For example, I have never spoken in tongues because the Holy Spirit did not seize my spirit and my mouth to do that. I have just done the will of God because I fear God. When I leave the earth, I beg you to walk in this way that I have laid out. And do no harm to my apostles. And in temptation, trial and persecution, I beg you to stand firm. If you are obliged to sacrifice your life, marriage or work because of this message, do it. Be united when waiting for the prophet who will come after me. And as long as you are not dead, you must not stop seeking God. Like the Jews in Egypt, you were born in the beliefs of your parents and in search of God. You migrated to another place, and then to another place and until your death, you must not stop. Also, do not do to my apostles all the evil that Billy Paul and Joseph Branham did to Pastor Collins for 40 years finally driving him out of the pastorate of the Branham Tabernacle on August 30, 2015. And Joseph Branham took his place on the same August 30, and had himself elected after a vote on September 6, 2015. The same year 2015, Old Collins, 89 years old, went and opened another church in New Albany where he died two years later, in 2017. In sadness and pain, far from Jeffersonville. And they brought his dead body back to the Branham Tabernacle for the funeral. And you, do not do that. And Joseph and Billy Paul Branham have the spirit of slavery in them. And many black pastors are their valets. They are the types of the colonists who did not see black Africans as humans. They see African churches as senseless. And George Ferguson is the head of the senseless. Billy Paul and Joseph Branham, it is the story of the crown princes with multiple handicaps. Rebellious sons who did not come to services when Collins was pastor. Joseph Branham has no ministry. He is barely fit to be a Sunday school teacher at Stillwaters. Billy Paul and Joseph Branham exploit the mental incapacity of black Africans with the satanic invention of tape listening. Because you don't have a ministry, you don't know how to preach. And you play the tapes so that no one else has to preach? If you are a crippled king, does everyone in your kingdom have to move around in wheelchairs like you? Why are you so mean? The Africans play the tapes right in the middle of their services, and for example, William Branham says in the tape, Can you feel the snow? And these black Africans sweating in the heat of Africa shout, Yes, hallelujah, we feel the snow. And William Branham blesses their marriages up to the Branham Tabernacle under the eyes of Joseph and Billy Paul Branham. William Branham says in the tape, Brother Bright, do you accept to take Sister Jennifer here as your wife and the black African replies? Yes. I. Can I accept to take Sister Mispa as my wife? 
Is it good to do this to humans like you because of their mental deficiency? Is it how your father William Branham treated black people in South Africa? Why are you so mean? The earth does not believe the living prophets. If Israel, the valley of the prophets, does not believe living prophets, what can the nations do before me, Kaku Philip? If I tell the Christians that Elijah and Moses in Revelation 11, it is one physical person who will come on earth in Israel with the spirit of Elijah and Moses, who will believe me as a prophet. But when I explain, they will believe it. And later, they will even say that they are the ones who had revealed before me, that Elijah and Moses will be the same person. And now, no man on the earth wonders why this pandemic of COVID-19 has been devastating us since December 2019. They are all looking for ways to stop it. But where are the religious leaders, homosexuals and lesbians? They are all in quarantine. They will reappear even worse as soon as the plague ends. And the great nations will produce even more nuclear weapons. And for what purpose should I pray for this tragedy to end? And you, what will you do to appease God's heart? Can you tie up the Pope and Benny Hinn, Joseph Branham, E. World Frank, Bertie K. Songo and your religious leaders who are seducing the earth? Can you tie up the Muslims Amr Khalid and Rashid L. J.? Can you tie up the Indian Sadhu Sundar Sel Rajan Jogi Vajudev alias Sadhguru? Can you tie up the presidents of homosexual and lesbian organizations? All those that you follow in their religions have no mandate from God. God did not send them. A king can send his servant to go and call his wife who is on a journey. But this does not give everyone the right to go and call the king's wife. If you do so, you will be asked, Sir, by which mandate do you speak to the queen? And the sentence is hanging. And all of you, leaders of Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, Shintoism, Sikhism, Confucianism, and Taoism. On which date? In which language? Where and how did God speak to you to send you? In which appearance did God appear to you? I that speak to you. When an audible voice speaks to me, I know if that voice is the one of the Lamb of April 24, 1993 or not. The word of God comes only to a prophet. And therefore, a ghost voice cannot say to an Ephesian 4, on April 2, 1962. My servant, I give you three keys. Your time is over in this city. And in this time of scams, can an unknown voice say to you, Honey, where did you put the key of the bedroom? And you will tell him where you put the key? When scammers send you emails, text messages or call you, you are careful, but when it comes to salvation, it doesn't mean anything to you because you are children of Satan. All your religious leaders have heard voices without seeing the author of those voices. Your imams, caliphs, pastors, rabbis, monks, and sadhus are all scammers. Every prophet in the Bible saw a person. Isaiah 6 1 says, In the year of the death of King Uzziah, I saw the Lord sitting upon a very high throne. Jeremiah 1 says, Jehovah spoke to me and put forth his hand and touched my mouth. But what about your religious leaders? They are all scammers. And when your religious leaders say to you, a voice said to me, you are afraid to ask them where that voice comes from. Because you are children of the devil and salvation after death means nothing to you. But all the children of God among you will come to me. I have been able to open the minds of mankind to understand that the Bible, although it is the word of God, cannot save anyone. Before me, no man on earth knew this. Not even William Branham who kept saying that his absolute was the Bible. And by this end time message, I will lead many members of Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, 
Buddhism, Jainism, Shintoism, Sikhism, Confucianism and Taoism to God. And when I must bring a new revelation, I carefully check everywhere that no one has said it before me. And I often say, what I am going to say, if someone said it before me, I don't know. And you plagiarists. Why don't you do that too? When you say, the Bible is a history book, you can't be saved by a dead prophet. You are saved by a living prophet. Whoever dies in a religion goes to hell. There are four ministries. I am the only true prophet on earth and no one can be saved unless by me. You must say that it was Kaku Philip who said it, otherwise it's plagiarism. When I revealed these things in 2002, no one had ever revealed them before me. This language was new. And the plagiarists did not exist and the hyenas and tattooed animals of Africa did not exist. God cannot send a prophet to come and plagiarize what another prophet is saying. And how can the true prophet plagiarize a false prophet? And you who are running away from public confession to follow the plagiarists, shame on you. And when your plagiarists speak, you know very well that they have plagiarized the message of prophet Kaku Philip. But you say Amen to them. How dishonest you are. The very first voice which condemned publicly all the churches was the one of prophet Kaku Philip. William Branham had never done it. The very first voice which said that one cannot be saved by a religion or a holy book, and that the Bible is a history book is the one of Prophet Kaku Philip. All those who call themselves prophets today are merely reciters and plagiarists of Kaku Philip. They say nothing more and do not go further than what Kaku Philip has already said. Nokia appeared first and later Nokia appeared with no patent, no call and commission. Nokla is the landing point of Nokia's enemies. Enemies of the public confession and cunning. Frustrated and incompetent rebels to Nokia. A true banknote always appears first. And later the imitator Satan brings counterfeit notes. When something is valuable, it is subject to imitation or plagiarism. And there are counterfeits, imitations and plagiarisms of my message because it comes from God. It is because of my message that imitators and plagiarists exist. The most important thing they have in their plagiarism, is what they have taken from the original which is my message. This is the second time that I speak in this year 2020, but as for them, they blabber all the time. Yet, their revelations are nothing but perversions of what I have said. In 2002, when Nokia revealed that, the Bible is a history book which should be in a museum. The Noklas thought about it and came and said, The Bible is not the word of God. You see? Nokla is the wrong pronunciation of Nokia. They never preach new things. In 2002, when I was condemning and naming religions and religious leaders, nobody had ever done it before me. Not even William Branham and talking of disciples. When my disciples said, I am a disciple of Kaku Philip, everyone was astonished and shocked because they were used to hearing. I am a disciple of Jesus, I am a Christian, I am the Word, I am evangelical. But know that in one generation there are the disciples of the living prophet on one side, and the sons of the devil on the other. But the whole earth will all end up speaking the language of the midnight cry. Men will all say that a holy book or a dead prophet cannot save anyone. When they saw Kaku chapter such and such, verse such and such, they were all astonished and shocked. But I prophesied that Satan would imitate this. Some kinds of Kofi 17.3 and some the 42.12 will come mostly from Africa because of the curse of Ham. They are ashamed to do it because I prophesied it. But they will do it to fulfill the prophecy. Only God knows the hard fight that I have fought since 2002 to make mankind accept the term prophet messenger. And no one knew that the prophets of the Bible like Moses, 
Isaiah and Jeremiah were not part of Ephesians 4.11, including William Branham. William Branham condemned women's ministry, but would leave his pulpit to pastors whose wives are preachers. And it was Tommy Osborne and his wife Daisy who presided over his funeral service. But I am the one who condemned women's ministry in all its dimensions. You can't refuse pork and eat pork sauce. It is I, Prophet Kaku Philip, who have brought back true sanctification to the earth through public confession. And all the religious leaders who refuse public confession are swine breeders. At night, they're faithful. Those Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus, Taoists, Confucianists that you see are filmmakers and actors of sex movies with their phones. That's why they hate Kaku Philip and the public confession. I said on October 20, 2002 that it is because of the homosexuals and religions that the coronavirus and plagues and pandemics would come to the earth. And if you have understood me, you will never go back to your church, temple, mosque or homosexuality unless you are an enemy of God. And if you love the earth, never ever go back to your temples, churches, mosques and homosexuality anymore because the world does not want any more woes. Every temple, church, mosque, ashram and parade of homosexuals is a call to a new woe on the earth. They are the fasts and prayers and meditations of their religions, and the parades of homosexuals that bring down diseases, earthquakes, cyclones and floods on the earth. And after these woes, bars, pubs and nightclubs open again, churches, temples and mosques open again, and homosexuals and lesbians parade so that greater woes come to the earth. From Wuhan in China, the coronavirus hit China and the countries of Asia, then Europe then America and finally Africa. And in this woe, where are all the great pastors and prophets filled with the Holy Spirit? Where are the great miracle workers who seduce the earth? Where are all the pastors and prophets who raise the dead and to whom God speaks mouth to mouth? They have all disappeared so that the whole world can see that they are deceivers. They are all sitting behind their desks with masks on. Satan has put them all under house arrest. And all their hope is with the doctors. And everywhere on the earth, it is terror. Men falling down and dying in the streets far from their homes. Bodies decomposing in the streets. Human bodies burned in the streets. Raptors and scavengers feeding on human flesh. In the hospitals, they choose who should live and who should die. Thousands of dead in a single day. The rich one and the poor one die together. And are buried in mass graves without a funeral service. Asia, Europe, America, and Africa, every continent counts its dead. How far will this pandemic go? Only God knows. Italy mourns 33,000 dead. France, 30,000 dead. England, 40,000 dead. Brazil, 35,000 dead. The United States, 100,000 dead. And the tragedy continues. And the blacks of America are the most affected because 400 years after their deportation from Africa, these gospel, boogie woogie and praise break dancers have no ear to listen to the voice of Moses and Kaku 137. Already, as of April 20th, Italy had 111 priests dead, among them great figures of the Vatican. Schools and places of worship are closed. The states decree quarantine or generalized prison for their populations, but they call it confinement, but all over the world, to this day, none of those who believe in me has died, and those who were affected by this pandemic, my prayer delivered them all. And while the pandemic is devastating the earth, the main culprits who are the members of Judaism, 
Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, Shintoism, Sikhism, Taoism and the homosexuals are also playing the victims as in a scene of African witchcraft. And the states are providing assistance to them. Injustice on the earth. It is in the religions. When the poor hungry man steals a loaf of bread, religion and the law of men cut off his hand. But the rich ruin their country and go to make donations to the Pope or take refuge in Saudi Arabia. Who could cut off the hand of Ben Ali who is now resting in peace in Medina, near the tomb of Muhammad? Who could cut off the hand of Layla Trubulsi, who lives a peaceful life in exile in Saudi Arabia, the cradle of Islam? And why don't the Satanists Zakir Naik and Rashid LJ preach against this? That is why when God sends a curse on the earth, it is first against the religions. And if despite your many daily prayers this evil has reached the earth, how do you not know that your prayers will not be able to stop it? And recalcitrant religious leaders who refused to quarantine were struck by the pandemic. On March 22, 2020, the American relevant Gerald Glenn of Virginia shout, God is larger than the coronavirus. In less than a week, he was occupying a compartment at the Virginia State Morgue. In April 2020, Archbishop Cassie DeZito, President of the Confederation of Evangelical Churches of Ivory Coast, announced to the world that he had the cure for coronavirus. On May 16, he was already occupying a compartment at the morgue of Abidjan. On May 17, 2020, Sheikh Boya Kari Fofana, President of the High Council of Imams and Mosques of Ivory Coast, bowed to the virus. On the same May 17, the great Imam Ahmed Lamri of France bowed to the virus. Before them, it was Archbishop Mario Salfate Chekana, President of the Pentecostal Methodist Church Corporation of Chile. They wanted to challenge the virus. And they all bowed like Bishop Mulumba of Congo Kinshasa and Bishop Silvius Ndjuru of Kenya. It was Pastor Mamadou Karambiri who brought the coronavirus to Burkina Faso. In Europe, Riatatri, President of the Islamic Commission of Spain, bowed to the virus. Yet he had the best surahs against the virus. And many Branhamists, including Pastors Emmanuel Mimp of France and Souza of Liège in Belgium, bowed to the virus. Instead of preaching Kaku 325 like their colleague Javier Sanchez from Nicaragua, they shouted, Brother Branham says that the angel of death is for those who do not have the Holy Spirit, or the blood on the lintel of their door. And like them, Pastor Jean-Marc Thabos, a great specialist on Israel and a great Jewish Christian mediator, bowed to the virus. Reverend Michel Leplay, a great figure of the European Protestantism, and leader of care in Israel since 1977, bowed to the virus. Aliyah Bakshi, Sephardic chief rabbi of Israel and a great number of leading Jews, Christians, Muslims and Hindus bowed to the virus. And all these religious leaders, enemies of the living prophets, and revelations of God starting from their fathers, all went to Satan. The earth listens to them and yet they are not prophets. They interpret dreams and visions. And yet they are not prophets to know whom those dreams and visions come from. Before they give the interpretations of those dreams and visions, it is true that men and women will always have dreams and visions of God all over the world. But for this hour, I am the Maharishi, the great seer. And when a religious leader will have a vision or dream or hears an audible voice, it belongs to me to confirm that it comes from God, and to give its interpretation. And many people who had never heard of me had great dreams and visions from God. 
A Congolese man told me about a vision saying, I was looking for God and in the first month of my arrival among the Branhamists, there was a division in the church, and right in the middle of the service, in the tumult. I had a vision, I saw the globe appear, and then the globe expanded and became a huge plant nursery. And in the middle of this immense nursery, there was a man who took care of the plants. Suddenly, the man disappeared. Then a swarm of locusts invaded the plants and ate the leaves and barks. Then the locusts hid in the ground as if to attack the roots. I was sad because the nursery was very beautiful and the plants were healthy. And as I looked, behold, another man, different from the first one, appeared in the middle of the nursery. And when he saw the disaster, he put his hands on his head and cried. Then some time later, he raised his hands to the sky and whispered a prayer. And there was some lightning and thunders and then there was a short train. And the hidden insects came out of the ground and became like butterflies and disappeared. Then the same plants grew again and became big trees and it became a huge forest without limits. And a voice came from the sky and said, it is from here that the oxygen which will supply the whole earth will flow out. William Branham said in the booklet Countdown. Ref 109. Now we are in the seventh age. And we are looking for that great messenger of the second appearing of Elijah. And as soon as that appears, then it's zero time. Today, isn't this prophecy fulfilled with the midnight cry? Also, a white Irish man. Apostle Robert Hutchsko told me a dream that he saw a long time ago before he heard about me. He said that in the dream he was alone on a small island in the middle of the sea. And there was a big lighter far above him, between the sky and the island. The top of the ladder was in the sky. Then two men came to him with a small ladder. And they placed the small ladder and he climbed on it and reached the big ladder. And as he climbed up the big ladder, he had to look up to the sky and not down. He went up and down. And the two men said to him, Follow us. And the two men went away walking on the waters. And he also followed them, walking on the waters too. And the dream ended. God showed him that one day, he will receive this little ladder which is this message for him to be saved. And that he too will go on the waters which are the nations to save souls. He believed in me with his family in 2015 and he has preached this message all over Ireland, Spain and Poland before telling me this dream. In the year of the death of President Hufue, on the 24th day of the first Hebrew month, like Daniel, I saw this great vision. And this is the same ladder of Jacob, on which the holy angels ascended and descended in this great vision. It was far above the waters, which are the peoples, the languages and the nations of the earth. And to go to heaven, you need another ladder, which is the ministry of the living prophet of your time. And for our time, all of my disciples are holding this ladder while I am alive on the earth. Go on pilgrimage to Mecca or to the five sacred mountains of China. Purify yourselves in the Kumela, in the ritual baths in the Ganges, the Bagmati and the Saraswati. Be Christians full of the Holy Spirit. Be pious in your religions but without the ladder which is the ministry of the living prophet of your time. You will never reach the big ladder of the paradise which is suspended between heaven and the waters. And you will go to hell. The ladder of hell comes down to the earth in temples, churches, mosques, ashrams, bars, cinemas, hotels, nightclubs, lodges, political parties, football stadiums and in homosexuality so that all the inhabitants of the earth may ascend, while the ladder of God is suspended far above the earth. Also, during these 18 years of ministry, I saw tens of drawings and representations of the elements of the vision of April 24, 1993. 
and I understood why God told Israel not to make a representation of the things that Moses had seen in heaven. I have never seen a true representation of the vision of April 24, 1993. In the vision, the angel and the lamb stood on the waters. As one stands on dry land. They were more than 40 meters from me. The lamb was also standing on the waters on the left side of the angel, and the angel was holding him by the horn. The angel had not spread his wing. I had not seen his wings and he had not stretched his sword toward the sky. The angel was clothed with a mantle like the one of the high priests of Israel. And I knew that this angel is Melchizedek for the atonement of sins and the purification of the sons of God among the nations. According to the fifth cherub of Ezekiel 10:7, having the burning coals. The angel of the vision of 1993 is the same angel of Revelation 10:7, and it is the same angel of Ezekiel 10:7, and this angel is Melchizedek. And this lamb that spoke to me is the same lamb that John saw on the Patmos island. As slain in the book of Revelation. And when the lamb was speaking to me, he was moving, twisting as if it was in pain. But the angel did not move. The angel stared at me while the lamb spoke. He wasn't looking anywhere. He hadn't put the sword down. He was holding it as if he was about to use it. I could see the angel, his clothes and his sword of sacrifice. All of them, including the sword and the horns of the lamb were of the same pure whiteness. But when I went and stood with them on the waters, I had no physical body. It was as if I had melted into them. I was a cloud. And the ladder on which the angels ascended and descended was like a staircase above the waters. It was on the left side less than 40 meters from the angel and the lamb. And the military truck had tires. It wasn't a battle tank with chains. I believe that at the time of the representation of the ark and the cherubim, Moses would stand there and say, do this, do that. And in the vision, I fell dead and I rose in a heavenly body. Then I was raptured and went to the angel and the lamb on the waters. Then I entered into the constellation of the angel and the lamb. They were not some yoga, holy books religions or deep meditations that gave me this power of resurrection and rapture but the word of the Lamb. This is the evidence of redemption. And whoever yearns for the nirvana, the liberation from the samsara, the perfection, the awakening, the complete enlightenment and the rapture to God, must receive this word of the Lamb while I am alive on the earth. By accepting the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus on the cross, it is for our sins to be forgiven to us. By accepting baptism in his name, it is so that after death, we may rise again as he did. In the same way, it is the word of the Lamb in me that made this action possible, despite the fact that I was dead. And it is this message of the midnight cry in you that will make it possible on the day of the rapture, even if you are dead. But why then don't people understand this, so that they may be saved? You who read or hear me, why does my word mean nothing to you? Do you not put your mouth on the genitals of your spouse? Do you not approach your wife from behind, in the position of a dog? You do not do that and despite that you don't understand what I, Prophet Kaku Philip, I say so that you may be saved after your death? Have you deleted all the sex photos and videos from your phone and computer and despite that? You cannot get to believe in me, Kaku Philip so that you may be saved? You have a desire for holiness and yet you have the strength to leave the public confession. And go and sit in your temple, church, mosque and ashram? And yet by believing in this message of the Lamb, it is so that through him, we may have power of resurrection perfection and rapture and enter into the divinity. Salvation is not to be in the truth, but salvation is to believe in the living prophet of your time. In the vision of 1993, I was like John on the Patmos Island. Prophets are the evidence of the redemption in their time. 
The vision of April 24, 1993 is found between the lines of the book of Revelation of John which is in the Bible. On April 24, 1993, I saw the angel and the lamb as a star or a ball of light in the sky. And then this light came down to me and behold, it was an angel holding a sword drawn in his right hand, and holding a lamb by the horn on his left. And when you have rejected this end time message, know that on the day of your death, whether you are a prostitute, a murderer, a homosexual or a member of Judaism, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, Shintoism, Sikhism, Confucianism or Taoism, you will also see a white light very far away, but in a tunnel formed by fallen angels, demons. That light will draw you to it as the angel and the lamb drew me to them above the waters. And when you get there, it will be Satan, the ruler of the abyss. And the tunnel will close behind you, so that you may not be able to come out of hell anymore. I am not telling you an imagination but experiences as a prophet so that mankind may believe in me and be saved. I have told you how in 1993, through the wall, I entered the house where my body was lying. I could see this glowing cloud and my body lying on the ground. Sometimes my spirit was in the glowing cloud, and sometimes my spirit was in the invisible. It was during the day and therefore, I saw people go in here and there. But no one saw me because I was invisible. And in all of this, I did not see a tunnel with a white light at the end of it. The tunnel is the path to Satan's paradise. The tunnel is the hole of the pit of hell. And the light at the end of it is Satan disguised as an angel of light. I say this to you as your prophet. You are free not to believe me but whatever your religion or belief. I am your prophet just as the president of a country is the president of all the people of that country including the opposition. Seeing visions in broad daylight with open eyes. Telling people about the dreams they saw with details including what they forgot. If I am not a Rasul, a Maharishi or a prophet, then who am I? Reject me and be pious in your religions. But on the day of your death you will enter into the tunnel of your religion, which is the pit of the abyss with a light at its end which is Satan. You will have the impression that you are ascending to heaven in that tunnel. As you descend into the depths of the pit of the abyss, you know that according to the position of the earth, you can walk with your head turned upside down without knowing it. Be pious in your religions, distribute your goods to the poor. Believe in your dead prophets and your religions, and all your holy books from one end to the other, and put into practice all that is in them. But on the day of your death, you will see a soft and white light at the end of a tunnel, and that light will draw you to it. And when you reach it, behold, it will be Satan, the prince of the abyss. Maybe in this tunnel, you will not know that you are going down into the hole of the abyss. For it may seem to you that you are going up as you go down. You will have the impression that you are going to the peaceful kingdom of the paradise of God, as you are going to hell. It is the same way, and the same seduction that you have chosen on the earth that will lead you to Satan. A Christian can see Jesus. A Muslim can see Muhammad. A Hindu can see Krishna. And a Buddhist can see Buddha while it is Satan. And as you go towards Satan, you will feel the same deep peace and gentleness and satanic assurance that you had in your religions and other satanic practices on the earth. The tunnel is the trap and the white light at its end is the bait. And the tunnels differ from one another depending on your beliefs, religions and practices. But the only way to heaven since the foundation of the world is the living prophet of your time. When the Lamb had spoken to me. It was his word in me that gave me the power to go to them above the waters. It was the word in me that the angel and the lamb had attracted to them. And at the resurrection of the dead, it is this message of the lamb in us that the word will draw to it. 
The Word will come and seek the living Word that came down on April 24, 1993 and which dwells in us. The Word will call us and it is this Word of the Lamb in us that will answer. It is not a truth, a good heart or anything else, but this Word in an unknown tongue. The angel had said to Cornelius, Peter shall speak words to thee whereby thou shalt be saved. We are the Word Bride because we received this Word from the Lamb on April 24, 1993. We are not holy by piety in a religion, by a holy book or by our good works. But we are saints because we received this Word from the Lamb on April 24, 1993. According to God's promise to Daniel saying, Go, Daniel. For these words in an unknown tongue are hidden and sealed until the time of the end. Many shall read them and be purified and be made white and refined. And no member of those temples, churches, mosques, ashram, nightclubs and homosexuality will understand. In the vision, the Lamb spoke to me. His voice as the voice of a multitude entered into me. I fell dead. My soul went to join them on the waters. What is this? On April 24, 1993, the word of the Lamb contained in the little open book came to the bride as the seven thunders according to the promise of Daniel 12:10 in Revelation 10:7. And later, the crowd came from the four corners of the earth. It was I Kaku Philip whom the crowd saw and it was I who spoke with the crowd, but the crowd said, We entirely believe what the Lamb has said. So, what do people believe when I speak? Is this the words of Kaku Philip? No. 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 But it is the words of the Lamb. I am only the mouth and the interpreter of the Lamb. The Lamb said things in an unknown tongue. You didn't understand and you said to me, What does the Lamb say? And I said to you, he says, the confession must be public. Baptism must be for restitution in natural water where there are fish. The black race comes from the leprosy in Egypt. All the religions of the earth are of the devil. The Bible is a history book. Salvation is only through a living prophet messenger. Elijah and Moses in Revelation 11 are one same person. When a Christian prays over some food, you must not eat that food. And until you die, you will never be a member of Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, Shintoism, Sikhism, Confucianism or Taoism. And you said, Everything the Lamb has said and which you have interpreted for us, we entirely believe it and we will act according to his word. The Lamb spoke like a thunder in an unknown tongue and you said to me, What does he say? And I said to you, He says that, No man shall put his mouth on the genitals of his spouse. And a man shall never approach his wife from behind like a dog. And in case of adultery, You will go and ask forgiveness from the other spouse with a witness. You will never take or download a sex picture or video to your phone or computer. When you approach your wife, she will not be on top of you because you are the man. And when a woman in menses goes into a body of water such as a river, a beach or a swimming pool, the water becomes impure within a 40 meter radius until the next morning. And anyone who throws himself into it comes out of it cursed. And you said, Everything the seven thunders have said and which you have interpreted for us, we entirely believe it and we will act according to his word. The vision of April 24, 1993 is a secret coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The message of a prophet is always that thus saith the Lord for the living of his time. And the whole message of prophet Kaku Philip is the Thus saith the angel and the Lamb of April 24, 1993 who is the Lord God himself. This is the evidence of redemption for our time and we rest on that. And later on, the saints of my time, including me, died. And on the day of the resurrection, the voice of the Lamb sounded and said, You the saints, 
rise from the dead and come up here. All the saints rose from the dead and were in heavenly bodies because of the word of the Lamb. And they went in the rapture with the Lamb. Thus is it of the vision of April 24, 1993. When I was dead, lying on the sand of the sea, the Lamb called me to resurrection and to the rapture and I went through it by the power of His Word in me. And when I went into heaven, I saw on one side each religion with its building and its door. It was like on the earth. And the appearance of the place was as if men had lived there very long before them. And having gone further, I saw the huge white city, the paradise of God and His prophets. A large chasm surrounded this city and a white cloud covered it. And since the foundation of the world, the humble of heart who have recognized the living prophet of their time will live there. And in the vision of 1993, I saw men coming to me from all the races of the earth for a paradise in which the former Jews, Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, Taoists and Christians will sit together in the presence of God. The Indian, the Chinese, the Arab and the black African will sit together. While the wicked and the proud of the earth, the racists and those who have no humility and love for others, and who want a paradise for their religion or church will take tunnels and go to Satan in different compartments, while waiting for the judgment and eternal hell of the Nraka. Today, the power of holiness, perfection, resurrection and rapture is only in the message of the Lamb of April 24, 1993 that you have received while I am alive on the earth. The power of redemption is what the words of a prophet of God produce on those who believe in him while this prophet is alive on the earth. And therefore, the words of Krishna, Buddha, Muhammad, Moses, Jesus of Nazareth, and of the prophets who are already dead cannot give salvation to anyone today. In the walk of the living and the dead towards God, the living prophets and their disciples are the only actors on the earth. And if today, for your time, you have rejected the living prophet of your time who is Kaku Philip, know that you have voluntarily chosen to go to hell. You've just listened to Kaku Chapter 142, The Evidence of Redemption. The message of Prophet Kaku Philippe is in more than 100 sermons, in audio and written versions, and more than 20 video interviews. You can get them for free on the website www.philipkaku.org or in version for mobile phone. Thank you.
Feel 